Hello and welcome to the Fez Universe YouTube channel. My name is Bibby and today we're going to be looking at something slightly different and it's not going to be any Pez content, but believe me when I say that this is something that's probably going to sell you on actually getting the game. It's a completely different game, but it's called Sociable Soccer. Now if you're on Twitter or you're not on Facebook or anything like that, uh, and you've played any of the, the, the predecessors to this, shall we say, uh, in Sensible Soccer, this is the new iteration of the game brought into the the 2017 shall we say has been brought it brought up and it's in early access at the moment and it's on steam and now i'm just going to say thank you very much to sensible soccer for actually providing me with uh a beta code to check uh to, te to test it out really and give people feedback as to what i actually think uh of, of how the game plays now so far i've only played like five or six games but it's extremely fast paced and it's if you don't take it too seriously and you're not looking for that football simulator, believe me, this is the game for you. I used to play this game when I was a little lad with my granddad. He was obviously he's still knocking about and he's still mad into football, but he doesn't quite play the football games anymore. But um, believe me, I'm going to be giving him a go on this one. Anyway, um, as you can see, that it does state that it's in early access. All the feedback that we're going to be generating will pass back to the developers, and when it comes out of early access, they can obviously put all the stuff in that we may may think that may improve the game so yeah we're just going to try and get into this when the pad decides to work there we go uh, i am actually using my ps4 pad um you can use an xbox pad i don't think you can use a keyboard i haven't tried it to be fair i wouldn't use a, a pc um I wouldn't use a keyboard or mouse on a football game with a pc anyway i think that's a bit weird uh, but yeah you can use a ps4 pad and you can use an xbox pad um i've got my ps4 driver set up a lot of the times if you've got Windows 10, if you just plug it in, nine times out of ten it's gonna work. If it doesn't, you can find the drivers easily on the internet. So looking through the um, looking through the sections, we've got in the world section here, as you can see from the top right hand corner, we've got club friendly, national friendly, custom friendly, club friendly, national friendly, custom friendly, casual cups, casual leagues, casual tournaments. So there's quite a lot there, and I think there is a few duplicates. Yeah, club friendly's in there. Oh, it's custom friendly. Oh, club friendly's there twice. Uh, I think that's with two people. Yeah, so multiplayer. Um, so that they're the they're the ones that are available in early access at the moment. So there's quite a lot to choose from. If you've got your mates round, uh, you can have two v. You can have one v one. Uh, if you want to play against a computer, you've got all the options there for you as well. Now we will just move on to the options, <clears throat> and we've got a little banner that comes up here saying failure is not an option. With uh, things that we're actually working on at the moment, which is the online play, uh, the beta version is coming very soon. So if you've got into the early access, you're going to be getting that very soon. If you haven't bought it already, don't worry, you will always have the chance. At the moment, I think it's going for fifteen pound or twenty dollars, depending on where you are. So it's it's an incredible price really for a game that's obviously it's been in development for quite a while, but. Believe me, when you see, we are going to play a game and I'm going to show you that. This is just talking you through all the menus, etc. So you've got the manager mode as well for tactical people. Uh, DIY competitions for up to eight teams. The My Team mode, represent your club online by collecting, upgrading and exchanging over 30,000 player cards. Uh, so that's very much like a foot type of competition or a My Club, depending on which game you're familiar with. Um, of trading cards, etc. Like Panini stickers. Uh, very simple games, I've done it before, but... We'll, we'll go into that in a minute. Loads more animations and sounds. Um, as as I played the games, it's actually the last year's team sheets or rosters or whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, that's just something to bear in mind when you're going to play in the game. It is going to be last year's teams, but they're bringing the new teams in. The, the names are spelt wrong, but as far as I'm aware, the data editor that they're bringing out, you can actually export whatever you create. So if someone was to go in and create all the teams, they can export it out and maybe import it. That's what I've heard. I haven't got official wording on that, so don't take my word for it. Um, but even if you can't, you've got the opportunity to be able to go in yourself and edit the team names. Uh, so there's lots of ongoing tweaks and refinements as well. And the settings can be tweaked from the in-game pause menu, which we will have a look at when we get into the game. So moving on to the trophies, there is I don't think there's any trophies yet, and I'm just going to state this as well. Last night when I played the games, I played in boss mode, which I'll move on to, um, but I did actually win one of the trophies, but the game crashed. Now, I don't know if that's just a bug, or we're just not able to go that far into it yet, um, but we'll, we'll move on to that in a minute. So all your trophies belong to us, so this is going to be basically where your trophy cabinet is for everything that you win, uh, whether or not it's going to be my team, or just any of the cup competitions that's available to you so this is boss mode so we've got welcome to central coast rocky guide us to the semi-finals and earn some next coin keep your contract rolling so i'm actually not going to go into this yet because i do want to show you something else first uh, in fact we'll do two games we'll do two games so i'll quit out of that so 
We've got the rookie, which is obviously your first one. Dodgy, short straw, slave driver, gaffer, old pro, big cheese, top dog, maestro, and the elite. So there's quite a lot of cups to go for. Um, and there's different cups within the actual stages. So there's six cups to choose from in each stage that you go up to, obviously all the way up to elite. Um, each, I've got five coins so far, so every every game that you win you get more coins, you'll be able to move up to the next stage. Very simple, very easy to get your head round. Uh, are you sure you want to quit social soccer? No, I don't. I just want to go back to the top. So we're going to go to world, we're going to go to club friendly now. Obviously the teams aren't licensed, however, there is tons of teams to choose from. And you can pretty much easily work out what the teams are actually going to be. So you've got things like Angelect there. Uh, you go to England, you've got several different divisions, which is really nice. Um, so you've got Arsenal, Bournemouth, Burnley, Chelsea, Crystal Palace. You can pretty much work out right off the bat who's who, because uh, the badges are actually quite similar. So we're just going to start off the game, obviously, we're going to be City v United, being the blue that I am. Now, as, as you can see, the teams aren't labelled correctly for licensing issues, hence the reason why they haven't got the official badges as well. So Manchester Blues versus Manchester Reds, those of you that are familiar with PES will understand uh, that, that is, this isn't anything new. The old school PES used to have dodgy team names and dodgy player names. It's, it's as simple as that really, there's nothing much more to it. The, t the, the buttons are quite hard to get your head around at first, but you'll get, you soon get used to it. Now. In the game, you can either have two views, you can either have the normal view that everybody's used to nowadays, or you can go for the classic over-the-top view. I played a few like that, and it is very, very nostalgic. However, being the football purist that I am, I like this one. So, it is a bit hard to get used to. You've got your line to tell you where to pass the ball. However, when you pass the ball, it doesn't, quit. It doesn't always go to the direction that you want it to go to. Now, it is an arcade game, so you can't take it too seriously. In all honesty, I haven't found where you can actually change the difficulty yet either. Because I was playing last night, there were some games that I was winning, and some games that I was absolutely horrendous at, and I'm not doing myself any justice here. But you also have found when you're running, if you want to turn, the ball gets left behind you, so it is quite hard to get used to. And there is an after touch of the ball as well, so when you pass the ball and you move the direction pad, the ball actually spins. So again, that's quite get hard getting used to. The short passes are quite good to get used to. Oh, Aguero. I haven't found where you can change your buttons yet either, which is um, quite annoying because I don't like the fact that... I'm, I'm going to let you into a little secret here. When I'm playing Pez, I do actually play FIFA buttons. I like shoot to be circle because I play a lot of FIFA and Pez, so when I switch between them, I don't want to learn two different controllers. Just a bit awkward. Now, the tackles that go in on this are phenomenal. Like... <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever played like red card back in the day where you could just like break someone's legs by um, double footing them basically. It's very much like that. The whistle, it, is, it isn't prison rules, so there is still free kicks and penalties given. However, I haven't had a penalty yet. I have had a free kick. <clears throat> so uh, there's, there's no half time team menu or anything like that. You can't change anything. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to just want to press this. Yeah, so the 11 that you've got on the pitch is the 11 that you have to t that you have to stay with. There's no other way of bringing on players as far as I've worked out so far. So I'm just going to go to the game options very sim very quickly. So you've got soft shadows and show performance information. Obviously, I don't want to show them. I just want to keep the game running as smooth as I can. I'm pretty sure my computer will handle it, but I'm not running the risk of the, the video crashing just for the sake of it. So as you see, toggle 2D and 3D camera, which I've already shown you. Restart match, show controls, uh, and quit to main menu. Nothing really there that you can uh, edit. Oh, that is an absolute cruncher. But yeah, I was playing against Man United last night, and uh, Daily Blind actually got sent off with, an, with a disgraceful challenge. Two of them got two yellows. I can't wait to get these names changed. Just to give that a little bit more, and it's not—it's not going to be your absolute authentic football game. It's just not—it's not going to be that you shouldn't expect it to be. It's a very, very fun arcade football game that doesn't take itself too seriously. So if that's a game that you're looking for, that you can just pick up the pad, play two or three games in the space of 15 minutes, get your mates round. Oh, get your mates round and have a laugh. This is definitely the game for you. If you want to play your your football purist type of game, then obviously you can stick to your FIFA and your Pezzes. That's um that's the long and short of it really. Oh, 
I am going to try and score a goal in this for you. Also, as well, there's something that I, if you can keybind, oh, if you can keybind, I want to try and remove the formations because if you press R1 or L1, it changes formation for you. And the amount of times that I want to try and switch player, um, pressing L1, it doesn't work, and I just keep on changing formation and leave myself open at three in the back. Oh, that's quite annoying. Also, switch player is clicking in the left analog stick, which is very, very strange. Juan Mata passing the ball back. See, I keep on, you keep on seeing the formation change in the bottom left hand corner. I don't mean to do that. Ooh. Oh. Also, the shooting. I don't know if any of you are ever familiar with any of the old games. This, when you press shoot, if you keep hold of it, the ball keeps on going. If you keep hold of it and then suddenly let go, the ball just dips straight away. So that's quite nice. Oh, moving on to the next match. Okay, so we're actually not going to play this one because I want to try and show you the uh, manager mode before we before we leave. So we'll quit to main menu. Go to boss mode. Play rookie. And the sound seems to have gone. Welcome to the coastal. Welcome to the Central Coast Rocket. Guard us to the semi-finals to earn some next money and keep your contract rolling. Okay, so we've got the first game. We just need to enter uh, the semi-final. Now, this is what I was talking about before with the my, with sort of like the my club cards, the football ultimate team cards. You can see that the, for instance, we've got Power in the middle eight. He's got a finishing of two hundred and two. Um, I'm not quite sure what all of these actually mean yet. I'm only trying to work out. The simple ones really uh, I'm guessing that shoot um, I'm not quite sure what THS is I'm also not quite sure what SCP is uh, or SPF um, but <laughs> but they're, they're the traits that the players have got now obviously that formation doesn't work because you've got the reds who are the strikers the grey is the goalkeeper uh, the yellow is the centre midfielder and also the defenders are green so it's very simple to work out um, <clears throat> I'm also, as I said though I'm not quite sure about how the traits work for each each player so we're just going to play this match as well so we can show you if i actually managed to win it um what the player what, what you get at the end of it so i haven't actually got a center attacking midfielder i've just seen to have some dms which obviously is defensive midfielder right winger oh there's attacking midfielders there so we'll switch him out have we got a left winger no hmm all right we'll just play with that we'll just get to it all right so we're into the game adelaide versus central coast Some nice passing going on already. Again, I've just changed the formation by accident. Oh, it's a great challenge. Danger ball across the box. Brilliant tackle. Hopefully we might get a goal in this one. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Now, there is already already some bugs into this. I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to... They've already, they've already mentioned certain things about the goalkeeper's um, scoring own goals and things like that. Uh, so I'm not going to go too much into it. And there is stuff when you play it uh, that is going to come up. Um, but they've already mentioned some of the stuff on their Steam page. So if you go, I'll put the, the Steam page in the description for you to go over uh, and have a look at some of their stuff. Uh, some of the, the, not just the bugs, what they've actually included in the game. What's going to be included in the future. Um, oh, I'm just trying pot shots from here now. But yeah, it, as I said, if you if if you if you're very nostalgic and you played like sensible soccer and things, oh, it's an absolute screamer! If you played things like sensible soccer in uh, in in previous years, um, you, you're gonna love this game. It's, it basically just brought it into the twi into 2017. The graphics are amazing. I'll tell you what, we'll go we'll go we'll bring it back the nostalgia. We'll go old school with this, so you can see the swaz. Like when you hit it, you can control it a hell of a lot better. Oh, it's gone in that. <clears throat> then the then the other camera angle because you can actually move it left and right. Oh, you can't tell when it goes over unless it actually goes over though. I have also noticed as well, just as a little small point, that the computer doesn't have that many shots on you. Again, that could be down to the difficulty that I haven't managed to change yet because I don't actually know where it is. Um, but yeah, it's I just love it. Literally, I can see myself pouring a lot of time into this, especially when the online stuff comes on. You can start trading cards and things like that. I think that's going to bring a game like this where it, I keep on saying it, but it doesn't take itself too seriously, and that is the beauty of it. It's very quick. If you've got, to, if you're going out in half an hour and you want to get a couple of games, and you can just switch on, bang it on, 
play a few games and then off you go. You don't have to sit there waiting for 20 minutes to find a game and then play your game and get annoyed. Oh. Oh, it's a screamer again. He's loved the goalkeeper. We'll have a look at that one on the instant replay. Keeper had no chance. Too small. Oh. Also, I've, I've all noticed, I don't know if um, I zoomed in quite good, quite enough, but there's some of the player models that they've got, they actually quite look like the players like Ibrahimovic has got his uh, trademark ponytail and stuff like that. It, 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 the attention to detail is phenomenal, really. Oh, should have finished that. Just trying to pot shots from range. They keep it like seems to kick out the ball well enough as well. Oh, seems to land to my feet. Oh, rinsed. Get in there. Over the top through ball. Going nowhere near the play. Oh my god. Right, we're going to change the camera angle. For no, we're not. We're going to keep it there. Oh, is it the beans? It's a shame he can't make subs. Then again, the players don't really have stamina. I'm absolutely cane in this. Smacking the ball wide. Have it back. There's quite a lot of variety of goals to score in this as well. So, like, yeah, last night I put the ball across the box. The defender had it out and he hit it first time. And it went through absolutely everybody. It was class. The goalkeeper literally didn't move. Right, okay, so that was uh, it wasn't the best of wins. But we won 2-0. So we're through to the semi-finals. Now, you'll, you'll move to the next screen. Music's come back. Um, and you'll see the next, there we go, nice one Rocky, nice one Son, the coin is for you, so you've now got six. So we're going to keep, you keep on moving up, you win the cup, you get more coins, and that's how it goes. Um, I don't know if the coin's going to go to um, your sort of ultimate team, my club um, <clears throat> coins. I don't know if it goes towards that or if it's completely separate mode, so you have two sets of coins. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But anyway guys, I hope this video sort of give you a taste of what's to come in uh, obviously in the early access and when the full game comes out I will be doing a proper full version of the game uh, when it comes out uh, give you a proper run through uh, but as far as it stands this is the early access I suggest that you at least go and try it um, it's, fi it's 15 pound uh, 50 15 pound for a game this day this day and age is absolutely nothing it believe me it's definitely worth the punt if you've got a PlayStation pad if you've got an Xbox pad plug it in I'm seriously seriously you will not be disappointed but I've been Bibby I hope this video has helped you out with me sort of making a decision about this game I uh, just give you an insight behind it um, and I hope to see you all again in the next video